This is a video about uh, this book, Vegetable Growing Month by Month, the down-to-earth guide that takes you through the vegetable year by John Harrison, famous allotment writer. And uh, yeah, he has actually an allotment for more than 10 years now, and he has grown a lot of things, and he has written about them a lot. This book came free with the Grow Your Own magazine. The price, retail price, is seven ninety nine, eight pound almost. That is about uh, ten to eleven pound uh, dollar. And this book was published in two thousand eight. by Constable Robinson. Uh, the chapter's contents include uh, introduction, why grow your own vegetables, where to grow and preparing to grow, planning the gardening year, planning the most from, getting the most from your land, weeds and what to do about them, tools, compost, manure and fertilizers, watering, greenhouse and polytonics. That's very interesting actually. That is about, yes, yeah, 12 pages just about that. Pest problems and production, protection, and the vegetable year, brief guide to the vegetables, and glossary and some useful contacts index also. Uh, John Harrison is an old hand in writing books about uh, gardening. He has done gardening for more than 10 years, allotment gardening more than 10 years. He had Before that, he was growing his own uh, vegetables and fruits in his own home. But uh, he needed more land, and he bought he rent from the council some uh, land to grow his own. This is the way that most of us are doing this this way in the in the UK, because not everybody has a big garden. This book looks thorough. He writes in a very down to earth manner way. You can really get uh, really absorbed in reading his books, and. Um, he he knows what he's writing. He writes about things that are available to every other, every person. So it's not just kind of thing that uh, fantasy writing by copying from other books. It's based on experience. And uh, yeah, I like this book because first of all, it came free to me with this magazine. Second, I like the style of John Harrison's. Especially look at this dandelion. If you know to know the different widths. Where do you find a picture of them? These la uh, line drawings are really accurate. Very small, but very accurate. That's the way dandelion looks. And dark leaves, yeah, if you want to know what how they look. Nettle. And really good line drawings. Because of the problem with the copyright and other things, so he has to draw his own, right, uh, use his own drawings. Drawings, and uh, yeah, actually nice, nice, accurate. That's the horsetail. Coach grass. Oh, that's the worst thing you can find beside the bindweed. That's the bloody bindweed. The wire, uh, the wires, the roots of it look actually like wire or coaxial cable. I have a video about that. <laughs> that's a very interesting book. It, it, I, I feel that it's a thorough book, especially because it is month by month. Uh, and it's written by somebody who is actually doing this job. Look at that. This drawing looks as if it is from the 19th century, but this look, this is plastic. These are kind of cloches that we use also in the in our in our gar um, allotments. And look at this, uh, yeah, uh, sprouting broccoli. Yeah, that's interesting. Brussels sprouts, sorry, sprouting <laughs> that's Brussels sprouts, <laughs> that's what you eat for Christmas. And the people complain it's cold, but that's tradition, that makes it healthy. And this is a good book, this is down to elf guide, really down to elf, that's what I think. And uh, yeah, plants, these are I think this kind of plants that you use for using as a uh, green manure. Yeah, I was right. Green manure. Horse manure and other things. And every tool and every weed and everything that is needed to grow your own vegetables is introduced in this book. Get it this issue. This is what you book. If you want a book, about, one book about for gardening, probably this should be this issue. It comes with this issue of the February 2015 issue of the Grow Your Own magazine. You get the book, you get a seed, you get a magazine in color. What's better than that? 
The book actually is valued eight pounds. <laughs> what do you want more than that? <laughs>